hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel Marcy is my name and i'm your host in this channel and today i'm coming to you with yet another type of uh, content uh, we are going to speak about our business and as the year is coming to an end everyone is anticipating and uh, to do a lot much more in the new year 2022 and if you're sticking around i want to talk with you about the possible business ideas that you can do probably maybe you are a homestay mother or you are a worker who is employed somewhere but you want uh, uh, some extra income generating business here i bring you some new business ideas that you can think of implementing this new year 2022 and together let's go to, through this number of um it's a list of ideas you can choose what works well for you yes business idea number one in the list is um, selling bottle of water and soft drinks a lot of people take water and drinks are really selling so much this business here does not need you to have a lot of capital to start it as a matter of fact right now you can sell bottled water in retail at around 500 shillings meaning that uh, the wholesale price of bottled water that small bottle is less than 500 shillings so you can think of buying your cartons of bottled water and cartons of juice, set up a kiosk somewhere where people, a place where people always pass around. You should be strategic about the location. And also we are so positive about the opening of schools. So you can supply this bottled water to canteens, the juices, there are a lot of dreams that is being made and being sold, so you can think of starting this business. Starting this business can need you less than 100,000. You can start with that. Start with supplying one person, and as your business grows and expands, you increase on your customers, supply a lot more number of people, but you can start up this business even as a homestay mother, don't just stay without doing any work. Think about starting this business. Business idea number two is popcorn business. Popcorn really sells a lot. It's a very nice snack. People love it. Uh, you can think of purchasing your popcorn machines and maybe do it on your own if you don't have any other business. And you can also just do this business as a side hustle. You can buy your popcorn machines and rent them out. And you'll be collecting your daily income according to the negotiated terms and conditions you have agreed on with the person renting your, mash, your popcorn making machines. Uh, it is a good business to do. You can do it as a side hustle. You can also do it as a full business. You can open up a kiosk where you do your popcorn business, supply to the rest, and also sell to individuals and families. Uh, business idea number three is making crafts. Are you a homestay mother? Think of getting a skill in making any craft item. There are a lot of craft items that people do. There is making African shoes or craft shoes. There is also making mats. There is also making interior decor items using the craft, the local available material. You can invest in getting the skill Actually, the raw materials are easily available in our places where you, you stay. You can get, start making uh, baskets. Yeah, there are these shopping baskets that they make out of um, uh, some, I don't know how to call that material, but you find those, those, uh, those ropes, they're kind of like ropes. They use them for tying up 
boxes of items and when people untie and throw away you can recycle them and use for making your shopping baskets and sell them actually these shopping baskets i will i will put a i will link photo how they look like these shopping baskets go for about ten thousand to twenty thousand depending on the size and the materials used for making them sometimes are easily available in our environment where we stay you can easily access them and make your own business idea number four is juice making uh, people are really shifting to this uh, idea of having juices cocktails in their parties also it is really hot right now juice sells a lot everyone wants to take up a cold juice you can think of starting up a juice business juice making business you can buy purchase your juice machines and then you make your juices and supply them to people you can identify offices where you can package your juice nicely and supply to them you can also think of having a, um, renting out your juice machines and earn daily income upon agreement on the payment with the people renting them or you can do an out um, catering business together with your juice making business you can connect with people who do out catering when they are going to do those out catering you can also uh, apply to provide juice services you can make for them juices in the parties yeah it is really a good business that is doing well right now people making juice are earning a lot first of all these materials they use for making juice the oranges the passions uh the lemons bubbles the number of them uh, the hibiscus what they are easily available you can negotiate with the farmers living in them and buy them cheaply and you make your trees and earn money out of it it is an easy business to do if you have the capital you can buy all that is needed and employ people to do it these people who you will pay them some money for the service rendered and the rest of the profits the dividends come to you it is a good business to do uh, another business idea that you can start thinking of is the gifting business gifting business uh, for lack of i don't know what to really uh, the name to give this business but this is when you start up a company yeah you start up a company uh, where you surprise uh, people with a gift somebody can maybe has a birthday want to do a birthday surprise for a friend and they come to you they tell you aren't you to surprise so and so with a birthday party you you buy the gifts the cake the maybe clothes any gifts you've agreed upon or it can be just uh, somebody wants to you to surprise a loved one may not be a birthday but they want you to surprise someone with a gift and you just negotiate with that person the cost depending on how they want the surprise to look like they will of, of obviously share with you what they want you to do for their loved one uh, maybe take for them flowers and what and what have you all those kind of things so you negotiate and you should be knowing the cost of that thing in a local market actually you should that is the most unique part with that business you should be well acquainted with the pricing of the items that these people need so that you can bargain and include your dividend in there and then you can do the business mm. this business actually needs you are the capital you have to have the brain to make nice things to spice up to organize and do something in a unique way that is uh, appreciated by your customers another business idea you can think of is uh, ice making business 
Ice, a lot of people love eating ice. Children, even adults, eat ice depending on how you make your ice and package it people love eating ice especially right now it is very hot and ice is selling a lot you don't need a lot of money to start an ice making business you can do this business with as low as fifty thousand. is a lot much more capital to start an ice business especially if you already have a freezer in your home you can do this business as a as a side hustle even you or if you're a homestay mother you can do this business make your eyes and supply your eyes to the people who need it it is a very good business to do and it earns a lot there are a lot of tutorials on youtube on how to make eyes you can go through a variety of them and choose the one which works better for you and Wow, you're good to go. You only prepare because the basic items needed for making ice milk, uh, you need water, clean water, of course, and then you need some sugar and uh, some food color and uh, some essence and the packaging material. And if you already have a freezer, you're good to go. Yeah. You can think of starting an ice making business this year 2022 another business we can i can tell you about is a plastic chairs and a tent hire yeah if you have enough money to purchase plastic chairs and tents it's a very good business to invest in because this is a one-time capital that you invest in and it will keep bringing for you money you will recover your initial capital there are a lot of parties going on people have vigils people yeah people have a lot of little little parties in the villages people need chairs people hire chairs even in churches where there are very big congregations sometimes they need they hire extra chairs then they also do uh, chairs uh weddings introductions birthday parties a lot much more people have conferences then they hire the chairs yeah there are a lot of things to do with the chairs and tents you can think of starting up that business uh, it really earns a lot the only thing this kind of business will require a little bit higher amount of capital to start with to purchase the chairs and to purchase the tents you need somehow a little higher amount of money so if you've already saved your money throughout the 2020 2020 you've been saving and your savings are intact and you're thinking of where to invest them this is a very good business idea to invest in you store your chairs and your tents at your home and you only market your services that you have this kind of service to provide and the people will always come for your chairs and the tents. Uh, another business idea you can think of is, um, is the real estate. Yeah, when I mention about real estate, it really needs a lot of money. You, if you have already a plot of land, and in, it's in a strategic area, in a town council, some area about where you can put up rentals, or you can uh, you can uh, think of uh, uh, actually putting up rentals. Then you can start up this estate business. It earns you money and it keeps appreciating throughout. You will not make a loss in this business. Just yeah, start up your rental business and you're good to go. If you have already saved your money, as I told you, 2020, you've been 2021, you've been saving. Please invest your money in real estate. You won't to go wrong. You can invest it in buying land and then after some years, resell that land. You will earn out of it. Um, this another business idea um, I want to talk about is a border border. Yeah, Boda Boda in Uganda is doing well. These are motorcycles. You can invest in buying your motorcycles and then hire them out to people to to use them for Boda Boda. 
and they'll be paying you daily. And this kind of business, it needs you to be very sharp in um, identifying people who really you feel this kind of person will manage to work. It will need you to uh, authenticize the person. You need to, that person has to have a national ID or a driving permit or any, any, any item that can identify him or her. Even women do border border these days. So that when you're giving your motorcycle to somebody, you know you're giving it to the right person, you can trace it. Because some people can, someone can disappear with your motorcycle. You can do this business. You can take this business on another level. You may not give this person this motorcycle permanently. You can have your park where you put your motorcycles and manage them as a business for yourself. This person comes every morning and removes this motorcycle from a garage, goes to work, and in the evening they bring them back and park. They sign out and sign in. Yeah, you can manage that way. But if you have a trusted person, you can just give them the motorcycle and they do business with it. Uh, if you've been watching this video up to this level please consider subscribing to my channel for more of these videos and please turn on your your notification bell so that every time i upload a new video you get a notification and always come back and watch my channel